Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to do a little more with op amps and RC circuits. We're going to create a timing circuit using an op amp and an RC circuit. So um, let's start with, you guys all know what the RC circuit is, right? It's a circuit that uses a resistor and a capacitor. And we use that for timing and we call it tau. And it is equal to our C or the product of the resistance times the capacitance. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put together a cool little circuit that will do a delayed startup. So let's start with our op amp. And this will be our positive rail. This will be our negative rail. Okay, so we'll create our RC circuit here. Put in a resistor and a capacitor that goes to ground. Where they meet, we'll bring that into our inverting input. And that will be our V ref for the op amp. Now we want a little bit of adjustment here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in another resistor, but this one will be a variable resistor also going between our positive rail and ground. And finally for, we need something to act upon, throw another resistor here. And our favorite thing to act upon, a diode, an LED. So there's our circuit, super simple. We'll call that nine volts and that's zero volts. So when that circuit powers up, we're going to have <clears throat> our VREF here at the non-inverting input. And we can adjust our VREF here. We'll call this R2, R1, C1, this will be R3, and D1. So R2 is our VREF, and it is going to put a certain voltage here, no matter, no, regardless of what you do, it's going to set a voltage no higher than 9 volts, no lower than 0 volts. And then the RC time constant, R1 and C1, C1 is going to slowly charge through R1 until it passes this VREF. And when it passes this VREF, the output will go low and our LED or whatever else we're using will turn on. So in this circuit here, we're going to do R1 equals 100K, uh, R2, which goes with 100K. <clears throat> R3 is 1K, C1 is uh, 33, 33 micro, yeah, 33 microfarad, and uh, D1 is a uh, blue LED. So that's the whole circuit. Now, one thing about this circuit is it is a single shot. So once this, this capacitor charges, it won't reset itself. So if we want to reset this circuit, we just need to put a switch across the capacitor and that will be our reset switch. All right. Let's bring it in the circuit. So here it is. Let's zoom in. This is everything that we just talked about. I'm using a TL072 as my op amp. It's a dual op amp, but you notice we're only using the one side. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here is our VREF coming into pin three, which is our non-inverting input. Here is our RC circuit. Our, this is R1 and C1. At the junction there, they're coming into pin two, our inverting input. And then pin one is our output. There is a resistor there going over to our LED. And then we also have 
our reset switch. So I'll power up this circuit and it should take about six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight seconds. Reset it, boink. And then it'll come back up again in, you know, seven to eight seconds. If you don't like the timing, you can change the capacitor. Uh, like I said, this is a 33. Let me pull that out. Whoop. Yep, there's a 33. Now watch what happens. I will put in a, uh, you guys probably can't read that. What do we got here? That's a 10, okay? So we'll put a 10 in. And let's count the time for, whoops. Let's get the time set for 10, ready? One, two, three. So that gives you about three seconds. Let's see if I got something bigger. Okay, here's a 68 microfarad. We can put that in. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you get the idea. I'm not gonna count out the whole thing. But this is going to take probably about 16 to 20 seconds since it's a little more than twice as big as our original one. Anyway, that's it for this video. A delayed circuit using the RC time constant and an op amp as a comparator. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.